Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to talk about lunch module in Odo. So in Odo, lunch module is introduced mainly to solve the problem of high scale business industry where lunch management is a very necessary factor that is to manage lunch of employees so and to manage the time schedule, food allowances given to them, then ordering food. These things need to be managed because the number of employees may be very large, very huge. So it is very difficult if we don't manage this thing. For that we use the lunch module. So let us see what happens. Here you can see many food items, all the food items and can be filtered based on some category and vendors. Vendors are suppliers of those food products here okay so these are all the available products for this vendor today and categories you see categories also you can filter okay and you can see employees name here and office okay office one According to that also you can see the product for this person he can order these product okay now we can make an order for this employee let me take okay. then he can add some special instructions if he is allergic to certain ingredients that can be added here now he is adding now adding to cart so you can see your order and the product can be seen with some price and the quantity can be changed okay four quantities ordered or right now for office one four quantities are ordered so you can see it is ordered and when we come to my lunch under my order history this is because it is Michelin admin so under my lunch you can see Michelin admins order history here you can see For today, there is one order for this product by Michel Admin and the price, total price for that. And you can also make some confirm. Here it is confirmed that this product is received. From here you can tell that this product is received. So under my order, you can see your product in Apoli Pasta is received. Then you can also see his account balance. Your account balance is 0 0.20 to of this Michel admin. And same way orders can be made for different person. Okay. Your wallet does not contain enough money to order that. To add some money to wallet, please contact your lunch manager because his account is zero balance. So he some amount need to be added to his account in order to order this product. Okay, so we can go to manager. Under manager, you can see cash moves. Here I can create a cash move for Akshay for today. Some okay, 200 is added and save. Now if I come back and make an order for him, okay, you can see his account value is 200. Now he can make an order. So it is ordered and under that you can see today's order under managers. Akshay ordered the product back on and uh, okay, then he have received that product. Okay, it is received. Now if you come back, you can see it is received sorry okay it is received so in this way you can manage other employees also then under my lunch my account history this is the account history of Michelle admin you can see the account history this much amount was uh, reduced because he ordered something and you can see the something that was payment that was for seven lunch ticket this was given by the manager itself that is 42 rupees from that this much is reduced because he had made some orders and the total balance is 0.20 
then under managers you can also control other accounts you can see akshay's account total amount that was given by manager 200 this much was reduced and then remaining is 192 in same way other other employees also can be seen then something is that control vendors before control vendors we knowing about control vendors we need to go to vendors configuration where we can create different vendors these are some of the vendors that i have created before then i, cre I can create a vendor name and okay so okay. some name can be given this is the original vendor name address can be given and uh, okay phone number then country availability okay this vendor is available for this much days okay. i am also adding saturday sunday then orders under orders no delivery that is he is not delivering the product directly to the person who ordered that is the employees who ordered the product and if i click delivery then he will deliver the product that is the food item to employ to the person who who have ordered and location can be given to which are locations then he will order these items to these locations and send order by phone or email can be chosen if it is email then you can see order time okay order time can be seen here so order can be sent by email with the order time and okay i'm saving this person okay, i'm not giving the name as akshay i can change it to some other name okay saving it he need to provide his email then you can see how if this person is created and if you come back to new order you can see a vendor is added this is because there is no product under this vendor now under managers you can see control vendors where uh, you can see the order details of different vendors there are three persons and from which user the order order came and the price notes status can be seen okay then under configuration you can see locations you can create new location these are all the offices created you also can create new locations here and add the address of the location then products you can create new product from here itself okay I'm creating a new product and add what product category and it belongs then vendor can be added okay, I'm adding this person in this way for a vendor we can add the product and we can add the price for that product and this is new until a particular date okay I'm saving it and if you come to new order if you tick this one you can see at that product and this one is new okay and then you can also create the product category that we have seen before burger whether it is strings whatever it is you can create here and alerts alerts can be given to employees regarding the order that is if he need to order for uh, lunch in 1 30 then he can be reminded so that his food will reach on time and the delivery is not in delay so the best option to give some alert and this can be given 
for him this alert can be given for him in every day like and you can select change the days and display alert in app or chat notification can be given and the recipients can be everyone who ordered or, or who ordered last week or who ordered last month employees who ordered last year also according to that the alert can be given or alert in app means in app the alert will be given and no location can be also added here then show until show until which date you can specify the date until this alert need to be given and whether this one is active also then give some message and say this one so this alert is active and it will be displayed every day then if you go to settings you can see lunch overdraft you can set a maximum overdraft that your employees can reach i have shown you that managers give some amount to every employees and with that using that amount they can place orders also they can take some extra cash an overdraft can be added here so maximum overdraft can be set for taken by the employees so in this way we manage lunch in odo and that's all about this module and thanks for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com